Good morning, my darlings. This is a surprise vlog for me. <laughs> Probably not for you. I wasn't planning on vlogging today because the weather forecast for the next 10 days, and I'm sorry to always start with the weather, but it impacts my mood and my productivity so much that it actually is fairly important. Um, the weather forecast for the next 10 days was solid rain, like literally every single day was 90% rain cloud and precipitation precipitation and when I was getting up actually last night was the biggest storm I think we have ever experienced since living here so windy and the wind comes down our chimneys and makes such a loud noise the dogs were howling so I actually went down at five o'clock in the morning and realized that the reason the dogs have been howling is the noise of the wind carrying our bins across the patio and at half past five in the morning just as it started to get light, I was out there picking up our recycling from the lawn. So yeah, wasn't planning on vlogging. So I thought I would try loads of new makeup things just in case they weren't particularly great. Then I wouldn't have to be on camera with dodgy makeup all day. But actually, I am really, really pleased with how it all turned out. So I'm going to talk you through all of these new bits. I know I've been doing quite a few like beauty integrations lately, but I feel like now is the time of year that we really look at doing something a little bit new and this is all very pinky toned which I love. I also spent over an hour and a half <laughs> this morning refreshing the H&M website because the H&M Simone Rocha collection went live today. Long story short, I did manage to get everything. I joined the queue as soon as the queue started. I joined the queue as soon as the queue started at seven o'clock in the morning and the collection went live at eight o'clock. So I thought I would be like first one in the queue, but it wasn't until 8.40 that I managed to actually get on the site. So I did manage to get everything, but I got so many messages. I shared it on my Instagram. I got so many messages from some of you guys saying that, you, that loads of sizes were sold out by the time you got on there. And I messaged loads of people back saying, don't worry, just use shop tagger on it. This is literally a prime example of why shop tagger is so so useful um if you don't know what shop tagger is i have spoken about it in quite a few videos before it's this incredible app and chrome extension that basically uses very clever technology to let you know let you save products and let you know if there's a price change if something comes back in stock if there's a coupon code they do cash back things like that so very happy to be working with them on this little section of the video it's like perfect timing oh my gosh the sun coming through this window i'm actually toasty toasty so i did manage to get everything um, <laughs> that i wanted oh my goodness that i wanted from the collection i think it's the most beautiful design collaboration that they've ever done i feel like the pieces are obviously a little bit of a step up from sorry <laughs> door creaking because the wind like funnels itself through the house um yeah i basically got this gorgeous very classic chunky knit white jumper but then it has this beautiful pearl neckline which reminded me of a lueve jumper from last year that had a beautiful pearl neckline as well um i got the pink trench coat i got um little t-shirt with the pearl kind of eyelashes by the time this video goes live the stuff may have arrived and i'm probably almost definitely going to film a reel with the stuff when it arrives so if i haven't edited and uploaded this video by the time i get the stuff i'll pop the reel on the screen here or otherwise you can head to my instagram plug to have a little look at that because the collection is just gorgeous but if there is anything from that collection that you love obviously people are going to be returning stuff because you can only return that collection online so people will be returning stuff which means stuff will go back in stock and i actually only thought of this because the little shop tagger button that appears on the right hand side of your screen i think you can actually move it appeared when i was adding the bits to my basket and i thought oh my gosh this is what people need to do if they haven't managed to get the stuff in their size i have done this many a time before whether it's adding things to like a wish list on my shop tagger page or just basically going through the whole shopping process and then being surprised by a coupon code at the end like actually the first time i used shop tagger was on the outnet which is kind of like the net porter previous season things they have so many amazing brands like Zimmerman I had this Zimmerman skirt on my wish list for so so long but I just wasn't quite 
prepared to spend even the out net discount price on it because it's quite a statement skirt but i added it to my, to my shop tagger and then the second that they dropped it in price i got a notification added to my basket and purchased it and i was so so happy so i'll leave a link to shop tagger down below as always but just to give you a brief overview of how it works on your computer basically just download the browser button from shoptagger.com and it's also available in the google chrome store then you can visit any of your favorite stores whether it's farfetch or the outnet um, or high street stores and then you just click this little button or the slider when you see an item that you like you can do this on your computer and on your mobile and then you can save products in folders within your shop tagger and this just helps you to kind of organize your shopping prevent too much impulse purchases because you can really plan out your wardrobe and the things you want to invest in so then you'll get a notification via email or mobile push when an item that you've saved goes into the sale or a coupon um, becomes relevant for it or it comes back in stock and then my favorite thing about it is that when you get to the checkout shop tagger basically scans the web for coupon codes and applies them automatically this is a special feature if you're using ShopTag on your computer, so definitely make sure you're using the Chrome extension. They've also launched a cashback feature, so you can basically earn cashback via PayPal when you shop from certain selected retail partners, and you literally just get money back into your PayPal for doing your shopping, which is the best thing ever. Or actually, the best thing ever is the fact that ShopTagger is free. <laughs> so I would highly recommend downloading it. I know so many of you already have. I will leave the link to download it in the description box down below. Um, and to make the most out of it, I would recommend getting it on your mobile and on your desktop so no matter where you're shopping it's just really really easy to use it oh my gosh the sun is coming into this window and instantly my mood is just rocketing oh oh my gosh so the best product that i used this morning well, actually last night um was that weller hair thing that i was telling you about so it's basically oh, what is it called color color mask oh it smells so good um really conditioning and as you can see oh my goodness it has just lifted the color of my hair my hair was starting to get a little bit <clears throat> a little bit brassy my hair's a bit of a mess i'm gonna keep it tied up um but i feel like it's just lifted my hair which is amazing for between salon appointments so i think it's the pearl color that i use and i was actually whatsapping one of my friends as a hairdresser for his opinion on it and he was saying that his boyfriend has used it and he's blonde and it's great because it doesn't actually tint the hair lilac-y like a lot of toning shampoos do sorry the postman just turned up and i get really self-conscious talking to the camera when there's someone on the drive because they can literally hear everything that i'm saying <laughs> so yeah basically if you wash it out quite quickly it doesn't leave any purple in your hair but if you do leave it in a little bit longer then it can just go that slightly silvery purple shade which i know some people like i might try that next time but for now i'm really really pleased that it has got rid of all the brassiness and i feel like it just lifted all the color so that's great super quickly because i talk about these all the time um but i used obviously my usual so elizabeth arden Prevage anti-aging daily serum full of antioxidants great at protecting the skin stay tuned by the way if you have this on your wish list all i'm gonna say is make sure you're signed up to my newsletter because i may or may not have a very special something going on with this very time soon very time soon sometime very soon the sun makes me so giddy i just get so hyper when it's sunny outside um then i used and i don't believe i've used this before but this came in a lovely pr package pr p pr package to my pr box um a lovely selection of products came times two from Charlotte Tilbury so that I could also give a set to my mum and we did a lovely Zoom masterclass with some of Charlotte Tilbury's makeup artists last night. Lola is absolutely thrilled <laughs> with the new techniques that she picked up, especially with eyeliner. And the box came with the Magic Eye Rescue to revive, rejuvenate and smooth and turn back the clock. So I popped that on last night and this morning, really lovely light texture. And I'm not gonna lie, I just love the packaging. It looks so nice in my cabinet. Then of course I use my By Terry Hyaluronic Moisturizer, which is just the absolute dream. And I still have my 20% off code for By Terry. You only got a few more days for this. It finishes on the 21st of March. If you haven't already, I would highly recommend picking this up. It's just the most ultimate anti-aging, smoothing, glowing, moisturizer, so many benefits. Hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, photosqualine, it literally does 
everything for the skin and this is one of the best things to have happened this year. Okay, so then completely new things. So this is my absolute first impressions. So I used a base duo from Givenchy Beauty and I've really not used that much Givenchy Beauty before aside from their lipsticks and their prism powder, both of which I love. So I popped on and these products were all really kindly gifted by the brands. So this is their prism primer, color correcting primer, and I chose the yellow one because it's really good at again just brightening the skin. And at this time of year, I feel like I just do anything in my power to brighten the skin. Um, and it's SPF 20, so I thought that would really help. And then this is their Prism Libre Skin Caring Glow Foundation. So I mentioned in a couple of videos ago that I just really don't want to use any products anymore that aren't multi multi benefit. So everything that I use, I want it to have an additional benefit to my skin, whether that's my foundation being nourishing or my mascara enabling my lashes to grow. So this has got some really lovely skin caring ingredients in it and I was really, really happy with how this turned out. Obviously on top of this primer, I was a bit worried that this was going to be a little bit white when I first put it on because it's got the SPF in there. Um, but after rubbing it slightly, it went, it disappeared basically and it just left my skin just feeling like juicy skin. No particular noticeable texture like oiliness or that silicone -y feel. Just felt like skin that was ready to have makeup applied to it. I got the colour, I don't know if this is right, 4W310, <laughs> catchy. But yes, I was really, really happy with how this looked. And then I applied their Prism Libre Rose Poudre Matte Finish and Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder. So it's this prism of different shades of powder. And I used this little Charlotte Tilbury brush to pick it up from the powder poof area. And I just popped it on the areas that I tend to get a little bit shiny when makeup disappears. So I put some on my chin, under my eyes, and in my T-zone area. And it's nice because I feel like the area is quite mattified, but not cakey. So that's exactly what I look for in a powder. Then I used the Cheek to Cheek Swish and Glow Blusher from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. It's a really lovely kind of muted dusky pink shade which is like my dream blush shade and this is really lovely because it does have that little pop of highlight in the middle and I use the Charlotte Tilbury blush colour for this which I thought put it on really really nicely and with blusher it's important to take it quite high this is what I learned in the Charlotte Tilbury masterclass yesterday take it high and then it helps to just create the illusion of a more lifted face and then I haven't actually done this yet but this has a little circle of highlight quite a subtle highlight in the middle that's just the perfect complementary colour to use with the blush. I didn't have a new bronzer to try but I don't know if I've actually mentioned this to you before but I've been using the Dior Skin Mineral Nude Bronze, woman heck, Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder for quite a while. Annoyingly I have actually broken it so the lid completely comes off but this is a really nice natural bronzer from Dior, so I'm very much enjoying that. And as we move into spring, I really like a pinky colour on my eyelids. In autumn, winter, I tend to go for kind of mushroomy colours, but I used this morning the Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I actually popped this one all over my lids and then kind of lightened the middle of my eyelid with this one, and then I took this one closer to the lash line. And I just love a pinky eye. I think with my skin colour and the fact that my eyes are green, a pinky eye is quite flattering. And then I took this super thin brush on the deepest shade in the palette and just pressed it into my lash line to give a little bit more definition. <laughs> this is literally a case of Josie, no one asked for a full rundown of what's on your face, but I'm giving it to you anyway. My usual mascara, Strength and Length from Bare Minerals, which I love. And then I'm using the Code 8 eyebrow pencil at the moment. The medium one is the perfect shade for me. And Charlotte Tilbury have launched a new brow gel and it's a clear brow gel. It's called their Brow Fix. I really like how big the brush is. It really just helps you to brush the brows up to get a nice big voluminous brow. And then you'll be pleased to know, last but not least, I used Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And then I wasn't expecting to find a new lipstick that I love as much as my Bare Minerals Mineralist um, Insight lipstick. But from Givenchy Beauty, this is Le Rouge lipstick in the shade 100, 100 Beige Caraman. Not Caravan, Caraman. It looks like this and it is the perfect soft 
fairly natural, not too dissimilar to my nail varnish. New, kind of like a nudie pink, but a little bit more pinky pink than a nudie pink. And then I just finished with some By Terry Balm de Rose on top just to soften it. It was actually quite moisturizing as it was, but for an everyday lip, I think it just softens it at a lip balm over the top and just makes it look a bit more comfortable. So that is the makeup routine that you didn't ask for, probably don't care about but I was quite pleased with the result considering there's a whole range of completely new to me products. Right, I'd better get dressed um, and I'll chat to you shortly. So I do actually have to be on a Zoom call in three minutes, but I thought I would just super quickly while it's not pouring with rain, because who knows if it's gonna start raining again a little bit later, I thought I would come out here and quickly just water my um, seed trays, because they do need daily watering at the moment. My hair is so fluffy, but I love how the color is looking. It's so, so good. Um, news flash, we have a new barber, and it's not gonna replace my super vintage one, but, my really old one, mum's old one, is olive green and as you can see this is a brownie shade one. I have never before this come across a barber that feels similar in like the structure and the look to my really old one and this one needs to have um, a little bit of tough love applied to it. I think they look better with age when they've got a few scratches and like the material softens a little bit but if you are looking for a barber similar to the one that I always wear I think this is the closest I have come quality wise and style wise to the really really old ones and would you believe I actually got this on Net-A-Porter I could not believe it when I saw that they had barbers on Net-A-Porter so I'll leave it linked down below um, highly recommend I would highly recommend using shop tagger on it especially if it's sold out because they probably don't have a huge stock of them i also wanted to quickly show you this lovely gift which came from one of my wonderful subscribers this is the burke's home and garden wear handcrafted in her cottage identical twines this is a jar of twine really really useful for gardening especially as i'm about to um create some divisions in my veg beds and also these absolutely gorgeous homemade ceramic plant labels. How beautiful is that? <laughs> I had to laugh at this lovely note. So these goodies have come from Laura. I love the little sausage dog drawing. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Laura. Such thoughtful gifts. And yes, I am still collecting my toilet roll and other recyclable materials for my gardening, but I am going to pop these up in my drawer unit, tidy that out, but I need to start my zoom off in the background while I do my pottering. here doing a little bit of tidying while it was on because it was just like um it was a presentation about instagram basically and apparently the whole saving the post thing to help the algorithm is just a big rumor but basically i was just like zapping around tidying and that breath on the stairs as always gosh my fitness levels are through the floor right now um and half an hour later the blue skies have returned it is looking glorious out there so now i have that typical conundrum of do i get my work done which i really ought to do and stay inside and ignore the fact that it's going to be rainy probably for the next week or do i push my work to the side for now save the work for a rainy day and go and enjoy the sunshine i'm definitely leaning towards the latter because I'm actually very ahead when it comes to editing. I've already edited the two videos that you'll have seen before this, so I'm two videos ahead, which is amazing. But now that we have got good lighting in here, I would like your opinion on, again, the fabrics that I've been showing you for the Cloverleaf Poof footstool and, and, and the normal footstool. So I'll pop the Cloverleaf Poof on the screen here 
and the footstool on the screen here so you can see the items that I'm talking about from George Smith and this here is where the clover leaf is going to live and then excuse the mess I obviously didn't completely finish tidying during my zoom and then the footstool is going to go there so I thought we'd have a look at these bits and bobs and the team from George Smith are so thorough and just so good that they've actually um, organised all these samples to be sent to me so that I can choose from them. So again, this is the fabric that I originally loved, which is a sweet pea and willow fabric. And this is the George Smith fabric. And uh, the more I think about it, and now that this is up in this room, I really think that this would just be absolutely gorgeous in here. So the cloverleaf footstool is fairly big and I think it can probably handle some fairly big tassels along the bottom of it, but I think I'd actually like the tassels to pick up the lighter colour um, in this swatch, so more of like a creamy tone. But then I don't necessarily want it to like blend into the floor and will it look a bit weird if the tassels are not the exact same colour as the floor, so do we go for more of a a pink toned tassel like this and do we go for a thinner style or do we go for a thicker style I like how this is almost scalloped at the top that's a really nice effect they've done such a good job at matching those colors look at that so footstool over there cloverleaf poof here this is just gonna look so amazing I'm beyond excited to have this it's just gonna make this room feel complete feel so elegant and gorgeous still got the lamp in here just because why not I just think it's such a fun piece a small and fairly boring update for you but I now have can I reach it oh yes I now have a blind in here which is great actually because it's quite like a kind of filter fabric um, I obviously had my temporary fix up there before and it just means that if I do want to film anything in this area here Then I don't get that big square of sunlight So in the slightly shaded Lighting can we see these fabrics a little bit more clearly? Oh, I think that just looks so gorgeous, doesn't it? Yes, oh, love it love it love it and the more I look at this tassel the more I think that actually that could be blooming perfect let me know what you guys think. <laughs> Sadly, I haven't done any more painting in the powder room since I've last spoken to you. Or have I? I don't know if I'd done these walls when I last spoke to you, but we now have a blind in here as well, which is great. Um, but I do need to finish doing the painting this weekend, probably. If it's raining over the weekend, which it probably will be, I will finish the painting off in here. And I know this is really bad and really messy, but this is just the base coat, so don't worry. So you may have spotted this gorgeous dress in the background. This just arrived from Needle and Thread, and I thought it would just be so beautiful to shoot this when the bluebells come to the forest. If you remember, I posted this picture, I'll pop it on the screen here on my Instagram, nearly a year ago, and I just thought that in that exact same spot, wearing this dress and it is just absolutely stunning. The most gorgeous piece, cannot wait to try this on. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off the last little bits of tidying and then I think I've made up my mind. I'm gonna go into the garden and do a little bit more planting. Would you like to tell everybody what day it is today? Shall we tell everybody what day it is today? Well, everybody, it's Dickie's third birthday today. <laughs> Birthday sausage. Happy birthday to Chiki. <laughs> I love you. It is now three o'clock in the afternoon, a few hours later. The weather has turned rather cloudy. So, hello, Taxi. You going to just sit there and look at your mummy? So instead of going out to the greenhouse and doing some planting, I am going to stay inside by the fire with the dogs. I also feel like I want to spend more time in here with Dickie today, especially as it's his birthday. I thought he was three, but he's actually four years old today, my little boy. <coughs> Dexy thinks because I'm sitting on the floor, it must mean that it is playtime. No, I'm not playing. <coughs> No. Anyway, I thought I would sit down and do some unboxing with you because there has been a few deliveries today and a lot of things which I think you guys will really love. So starting off with, where is it gone? Okay, this is a delivery from Garden Glory. 
can't remember how I first came across this brand. Pretty sure it was on Instagram. You may have seen my pink hose pipe or my sage green hose pipe um, with a beautiful gold metal detail on there and my gold gardening gloves, my pink diamond shaped trowel. They're all from this amazing website called Garden Glory. And I spotted recently on their new in section, they have, and they all come beautifully packaged, they now have pink gardening gloves. Oh my goodness, I just think they are so fabulous. They're very desperate housewife style. They're such lovely quality. If I'm totally honest, I'll probably save these for, for best. <laughs> they even have this little um, heart heart detail on them i mean how adorable doesn't really work that way around but when i'm looking down at them it works i said this when i unboxed my first package of bits from garden glory but i think this brand makes for such good gifting in fact i might actually buy another pair of these for myself and give these to mum for mother's day they really are just so adorable so yes i think i will save these for my best gardening gloves wowza so up next we have this very fun pattern from sweaty betty it almost looks like it's making the camera go a little bit crazy this is a sports bra and then we have the high-waisted power leggings yes power leggings so they're sweat wicking they give you a really good bum nice and high waisted so this is the new pattern from sweaty betty red white and blue very patriotic a really nice bold pattern for your spring workouts yes it actually is like neoprene in the boob areas as opposed to having um the removable pads which to be honest when you put the removable pad ones in the wash and they get dislodged it just annoys me so much I do find it very annoying. Um, so that is a great design, gorgeous pattern. Thank you very much, Sweaty Betty. Ooh, this has come from Vorwerk, which is um, the brand that make Thermomix. Oh my goodness. Of course, I got a press release about this the other day. So Thermomix um, have a charity initiative at the moment. They are raising funds for women's aid. We're embarking on a mission to raise £50,000 throughout March for women's aid, helping them create safe spaces in homes across the UK and Ireland. Wow, according to recent data released by Women's Aid, 67% of survivors are currently experiencing worsened domestic abuse since the COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdowns began. It will allow women's aid support workers to help over 4,000 survivors of domestic abuse. That's amazing. Gosh, I suddenly got really, really bright outside cloudy but it's really bright um so i will leave a link to the thermomix donation page in the description box of course i'll be making a donation myself as well even if it's just a pound here or there i think that is a really amazing initiative that thermomix are supporting they've popped in a face mask a little notebook rad women worldwide artists and athletes pirates and punks and other revolutionaries who shaped history wow it's just lots of little short stories about strong women throughout history so we've got everyone from ancient egyptians to venus and serena williams in this book <sighs> okay sorry the background is not quite as pretty here but i've had to spin you around because it is just so bright coming in from that angle Okay, so next I have a delivery here from Revolve and I have to say I'm a little bit surprised that I'm still on their PR list because <laughs> the last time I spoke about Revolve was a video um, probably two or three years ago now and I basically slated them. I was saying how overpriced everything was um, and that I really wasn't impressed with the quality some of the pieces are quite cute, but I do feel like overall the quality and the price do not really match up. So I was quite surprised to receive an email from them um, asking if I wanted to choose some new bits. So I thought, you know what, it's been a couple of years, let's see if they've stepped things up a little bit. I think retailers as a whole have become a lot more aware that us customers are a lot more switched on their competition has certainly amped up since then and upon the first glance it looked as though the designs appeared on the website to be slightly higher quality so i thought yeah okay they're offering to send some clothes and this could be a great opportunity for me to update you in the hope that um things might have got a little bit better 
So, <laughs> I have some pieces here and let's just go through them and I'll let you know if I think they are worth the investment. As always, just because a brand sends a product to me doesn't mean that I'm obligated to review it at all. I could just half of what I do is like an editing process and if a product is just average or not good then I just won't tell you about it. A lot of the time a lot of products come in and I just don't talk about them because I don't think they are worthy of the airtime or your hard-earned money and yeah I'm most definitely not obligated to review anything positively and especially if it is not a positive experience. So okay let's start with this which actually is the kind of thing that I really like wearing at the moment. So it's just a high neck jumper, quite like an alpine style. I have to say this material is really, really soft. I wish the, um, I was about to say, I wish the zipper on it was gold. I think it would look a lot more expensive and luxurious if the zipper was gold. But then the zipper on the um, jacket thing that I'm wearing now is silver as well and doesn't really bother me. Right, <laughs> like why do they feel the need to make this so prominent? This is the label and the only other thing dangling from the label is made in China. But then interestingly, I was talking to my friend Rory about this and we have to stop thinking that made in China means poor quality because actually it means the opposite because they are such perfectionists there. The level of craftsmanship often you get in China, you just can't get anywhere else. So actually I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to turn my nose up at the fact that it says made in China. Yes, this does feel like really nice material but I'm not sure if it's going to be a blend that will make me Okay, keep me particularly warm. From past experience with Revolve, I was in the back of my head negatively thinking this is going to be polyester and acrylic. It's actually 46% cotton, nice, a natural material, 4% cashmere, 33% polyamide fibre. So it's a little bit better blend wise. Um, no wool content in there tiny bit of cashmere but you'd have thought for the price i'll leave the prices of all these items on the screen because i can't remember off the top of my head but i, I think most like knitted pieces on revolve are usually like two or three hundred dollars which is premium when you compare especially to reese this that i'm wearing right now is from reese um, and generally i find that their quality versus their price is so much better i might actually just pop this on show you how it looks Okay, to be fair, I do actually really like how this looks. It's a little bit um, Count Dracula <laughs> if you don't fold the collar down. Um, but yeah, it's nice and soft. It hangs nicely. It's quite a nice length. It's not too long. I like the silhouette. Oops. I like the silhouette of the sleeves. Quite dangly sleeves, which would definitely get in the way if you were doing any cooking or any cleaning or anything or any gardening. But overall, I do, do quite like this. I think it's a nice a nice little knitwear piece and I do love my cream knitwear. Just feels very cozy, very easy to throw on for wearing at home, so not a bad start. Next, we have a little dress and this is from a brand called LPA. So when Revolve do their influencer gifting, they only gift from the brands I think that they own. So they very cleverly have like created lots of different brands within Revolve, like Lovers and Friends, and you can only choose from those brands. So I'm pretty, I, I think that's right. So LPA, quite a nice fabric. I do like a ditzy floral. Quality wise, and like the feel, the texture of the fabric. It's nothing terribly special. Does it have any boning in it? No. How do you get it on? I think it's literally just a shove it over your head scenario. Quality wise and the fabric and the style, it's not too different I would say to like an and other stories dress or an ASOS own brand dress, but I bet the price is quite significantly higher. So I would say that this, while it's a cute piece, I think that you can probably get just as nice, but for much more affordable from other retailers, um, potentially retailers that don't spend all their money on taking influencers to Coachella. That's probably what you're paying for. Um, so yeah, cute, but that one I would say is probably not worth the money. Um, Tula Rosa is a brand in general that I do really like their designs. And this looked really nice on the website. It actually looked a lot chunkier. I thought it was gonna be a much more um, 
chunky cardigan. Let's have a look at the material of this. Hopefully it's wool for the price. Um, that is absolutely not a place for small puppies, even though they're very handsome. I'm not a small puppy though. I'm six years old, Daddy. If my brother's four, that means I'm six. No, I'm six in June, Mummy. No. Oh. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday, brother. <laughs> okay, so this is 80% cotton. Right, okay. This says 80% cotton and 40% acrylic. <laughs> so this cardigan has 120% fibers right i mean to be honest i am a little bit disappointed in this it is very plain it feels just quite plain um i think that you can get jumpers cardigans exactly like this from places like river island again asos own brand misguided those kind of affordable retailers i'm glad it's not polyester i'm gonna throw that out there um but it's very plain and i'm pretty sure price tag for the price tag, you would be expecting a little bit more wool, maybe a little bit of wool or a little bit of um, cashmere in the blend. And the buttons are just quite cheap um, plastic buttons. Whereas for this price from, for example, and other stories, you might get like a gold bumblebee or a flower button or at least a pearl button. So yeah, that's not worth the price tag in my opinion. Um, okay, Tula Rosa again. So they have some really nice feminine pink pieces and this is actually really pretty. So we've got a nice maxi dress, a nice material which I presume is cotton with some embroidery. I bet this is made in India. Yep, made in India, 100% cotton. Okay, good that it is again a natural material. I think it came with a belt. Maybe not, um, but I would probably add my own belt with this. This is, to be fair, the kind of thing that I like to wear in spring. Hopefully it is quite easy to steam. Ooh, I wonder if one of these is my new steamer. I don't think any of those boxes are big enough, annoyingly. Um, I have ordered a new steamer and I'm gonna have to whiz over this with it. You've got a nice little ruffle detail down at the bottom. <sighs> Again, I can't remember the price of this, but I do think that's nice. I would probably be willing to pay around 80 pounds for this probably no more because it's just a simple cotton dress and if you spend more than that then you'd be looking for something with a little bit more to it right so this is from a brand called Le Academy, and it is I'm sorry, this material is horrible. This material is absolutely horrible. Wow, shell is 100% cotton. Okay, see that blows my mind because that's 100% cotton and that's 100% cotton and yet this feels so much cheaper. It's almost like a cotton sateen. Um, I was really expecting this to be polyester. I don't think Revolve have physical stores, do they, aside from the old pop-up? I think they had a pop-up in LA, because the funny thing is, if I'd seen this in a store, there is no way I would stop and look at this. But obviously the way that they styled it on the website made me think it was absolutely gorgeous. So you've got um, these removable spaghetti straps, a bandeau top, and then it's just a long cotton skirt. But yeah, the material is just... Not very nice. Um, and then it comes with this belt, which again, I think, oh, it's like that cheap faux leather on that side. Yeah, that's an absolute miss. Okay, and then from Lovers and Friends, which is one of the Revolve own brands that I do tend to quite like, I chose these, I think they're kind of like tracksuit bottoms. I like the antique floral print on them. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'm living in comfy trousers at the moment, so I thought these would be great. In fact, let's, slip them on on top of my leggings okay they're quite baggy not the best fit um but then they've got this strange kind of tie at the bottom so i think you meant to like i don't know do you tie it behind it's just a little bit weird and it's going to be a bit inconvenient putting your boots on yeah i definitely have um 
I definitely have tracksuit bottoms that I prefer to these, but again, it's something that if I saw it in the store, I absolutely would not pick it up, but something obviously drove to me on the website. To be honest, everything here in a store, I don't think I'd have picked it up. That's the thing with online and they're like super airbrushed models. They make everything look so lovely. Hello, birthday boy. Oh, what do you think, Melanie? Hmm. Look, this little boy needs a haircut so badly. Yes, you do. Okay, so um, I would give that Revolve haul a 2 out of 10. Never mind. My opinion hasn't really changed. Next, we have a delivery from Khloe Kardashian. So this is collagen protein powder brand called Dose & Co. I don't think it's her brand, I think it's a brand that she uh, liked the look of and has put her name to it. So we have a collagen protein powder, a dairy collagen creamer, a dairy-free collagen creamer, and a pure collagen peptide powder. Hmm. I must say, this is a very beautifully packaged delivery of protein powders. So this is the box that it came in, Dose & Co. X Chloe. Dickens is making himself at home in the Revolve clothing. It's all yours, my boy. You make yourself comfortable, birthday boy. <laughs> um, okay, so we have got pure collagen unflavored. No, don't chew it though, darling. Just make yourself comfortable. Unflavoured collagen peptides. Collagen is nature's answer to beauty both inside and out. Our high quality natural collagen protein supports smooth skin, strong hair and nails. This is the type of thing that I am willing to give the benefit of the doubt. I just like to pop a spoonful of um, powders like this in my morning smoothie. As long as I don't make it taste horrible, then I think it is worth a try. If it even improves my skin, hair and nails by 1%, then I will be happy. And yeah, this is a really nice branding made even nicer by the Chloe Kardashian box, um, but the products themselves, they do look really nice. Chocolate fudge, you could literally make collagen brownies and put some chocolate, chocolate fudge collagen protein powder in the brownies. That would be pretty cool. So I'm gonna move swiftly on, and actually I think that is everything, but I have a Zoom starting in 11 minutes, so I'm just going to tidy up all of this mess, get my recycling all done, and then I will show you what we're up to on the Zoom call. And we are back in the greenhouse, my favorite place to come when work is done. I just can't wait until the evenings are a little bit longer and I can spend longer in here and it'd be a little bit warmer, um, but at least it's a bit more sheltered in here because it's still really windy outside. I need this little hot water bottle because it's still pretty chilly in here. If only my Revolve jumper had some more wool content in it, it wouldn't be so chilly. <laughs> I'll let it go. Okay, so my tasks for this afternoon, I need to repot one of my broad beans because it's starting to get a little bit root bound. So I'll move it into a bigger pot. And then I want to see how many um, kitchen roll tubes I've got because I would like to do some more sweet peas. Oh, I've got plenty. And sweet peas like to have enough room for their roots to grow nice and long. So kitchen roll tubes are absolutely perfect for that. But first I need to get some sweet pea seeds soaking.
be one of those things that you can't even see, but right now this whole room is just glowing yellow and gold. Sorry, my battery just died and I bet you can't even tell, but yeah, this whole room is like golden because of this crazy weather that we're having. Honestly, it was so mad last night. Yeah, you really can't tell. It just looks a little bit pink and fluffy out there. Most boring vlog clip in the whole world. So here's a shot of Dexter to make up for it. You've been helping mummy in the garden. You're so good looking. You're so handsome. I'm just about to finish off my biscuitiers while I do a little bit of editing. I have been a very lazy little monkey this evening and I've just had a microwave pizza for my dinner. Charlie had one of the pasta evangelists that had like an inducha kind of sauce with it, but they're really quite small portions so it was only really enough for one. But I heard a rumour that we have got mini egg cakes in our treat drawer so I'm going to investigate. This is our drawer, <laughs> full of all the naughty treats, my goodness. Our next door neighbours bought us this box of chocolate biscuits the other day to say thank you for doing the gravel um, down the driveway to the chapel. Where are these cakes then, darling? I can't see them. They're all gone. Better women not have eaten them though. Oh, in the cake jar. Come how gorgeous is my cake stand looking? Are they both for me? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yummy. And look at our gorgeous daffodils. So beautiful. So I'm going to enjoy my mini egg cakes and we are starting something on TV tonight called Bloodlands, um, which apparently- Sounds upbeat, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, sounds nice very upbeat. Nice and cheery. So I'm going to enjoy my cakes and get stuck in to a new series. So I'm going to end the vlog here, darlings. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget, if you would like to check out Shop Tagger, I'll leave the link to that at the top of the description box. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.